Hello, this is Charting Man Dan of The Chart Guys, where we teach the little guy and girl how to utilize charts to manage their own trades and investments. What do I mean by the little guy and girl? Well, we just had two directives signed, halting the implementation of a rule that requires financial advisors to act in the best interests of their client. Let that sink in a little bit. The big wigs on Wall Street can play with your retirement and hard-earned money without your best interests at heart. We currently have hundreds of members taking charge of their financial future, and we would love for you to come check out a free week with no credit card required to see if our services would be beneficial on your path to financial independence as well. What we offer, we have a separate course of over five hours in length on when to enter and exit positions, and in terms of what we do daily, we have nightly videos, key levels updated each morning before the bell, two and a half hours of live daily web webcam coverage in the morning and in the afternoon, and over seven hours of educational videos. All of these links can be found in the description of this video. Come check us out. Thanks for watching. Let's get on to the technical analysis. Hey guys, it's James with the Chart Guys. It's Monday, April 17th. Gonna do my nightly video on gold. The so gold has this long-term trend line going all the way back to 2012 that we're currently beginning the week with a rejection right there. Um, and you can see the last attempt on, on the gold run up last year, uh, that's that, that downturn, that down, trend uh, line is where we rejected from and then had uh, this big move down. And on this big move up, we're trying to test it again, but start the week we are rejecting. And if you look at the US dollar Japanese yen, we're starting the week with at its last uh, weekly MA of support, which is the 50 MA currently at 108.32. It's forming a bullish reversal hammer at, off, off that uh, weekly support. Uh, we obviously have the rest of the week to trade and we'll see what these candles look like at the end of the week at the close of Friday on gold and the US dollar Japanese yen. Currently what I'm watching right now on the US dollar Japanese yen live is this inside candle that we have. So inside candle again is when the high and low is within the previous ranges high and low here. And a bull break would be if we close above 109.01. We did break bull from it, but it, the close is what's important. So that we close this candle at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If we are unable to close above 109.01, this inside candle is no longer in play. And you can see how powerful inside candles can be. I uh, alerted the chat room today that we had an inside hourly candle here, high and low within the previous range, high and low, had a bull break and had a big move in the US dollar Japanese yen, which also coincides with the spy bounce, the market bounce. So right now we have a three rejections currently at this US dollar Japanese yen, 100 MA here. So one, two, three rejections. Um, and unless we close above 109.01, I'm not. Uh, we could consolidate here after this um, oversold bounce bounce attempt on the U.S. dollar Japanese yen. As far as the gold daily chart goes, daily. The gold daily chart here is uh, we we avoided a bearish engulfing candle. A bearish engulfing candle is when the body of the candle would have closed below the low of this of the previous daily candle at 1283.80. So avoided that. Uh, the daily is still bullish as long as we're above these in all these MAs here above the 4 MA, 8 MA, uh, EMAs. We have a lot of moving average support. So bulls still are in full control on the daily. Again, the weekly, it's just going to be a matter of whether we uh, consolidate and pull back here off this, off the, uh, this weekly rejection of the uptrend line. And we really want to watch watch this area if we reject because you can see this big green candle on the weekly. We're not going to see support, price support until the high of this candle at 1273.30 um, if the weekly continues to pull back because of how big this uh, green body of this candle is. And the miners, so GDX on the daily is rejecting two times now at this um, 200 MA here, so we have one, two rejections. We do have decline, declining bear volume, which is a plus for the bulls. Uh, we don't want to see a spike in, in bear volume and big red candle here. Uh, so this could potentially just be healthy consolidation. We'll see if it's consolidating and then make a, making another run at this 200 MA daily, but clearly that's the uh, moving average that it needs to overcome to move higher. We'll look at price resistances tomorrow at 2430, uh, at 2476, we break 2476, then look for a test of 2488. And ports, we will look at the, <clears throat> the low of 
24.31 of today. Um, also look for some price support here at the low of this candle at 24.38. So if we lose 24.38, look for a 24.31 test. And uh, if we do break the low of this candle and we do consolidate further, uh, look for the lows of this candle at 24.08 and then 23.87. We really don't want to break below 23.87. 23.87 break will be in this gap fill territory and we will fill the gap at uh, 23.71. Again, the 20 MA is curling up. Um, looks like it's about to cross the 50 MA here. A golden cross, as some people call it. Um, so we'll see what happens on the senior miners. And again, senior miners, much stronger than the junior miners still. As far as the junior miners go, we did... We did end the day with a, uh, a bullish reversal hammer right off this... Um, 100 MA back test on the daily so we closed right above it and so we'll have to see where the where we'll find some, some support tomorrow uh, potentially on further pullback we'll look at the low of this green candle at 3611 and then obviously the low of today we break today's low and then break uh, the low here of 3518 on this pullback that's going to be a big uh, pretty that's going to be a pretty big red flag here and looking for potential further consolidation on the daily here into this to this area where there isn't much price support until we hit below this candle here at uh, 33.95. So bulls definitely want to defend the low of today and absolutely must hold his 35.18 on the junior miners here. Um, so we'll see what happens with uh, the gold uh, hourly chart as well. Right now, the hourly chart here with the open of futures market at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Same as US dollar Japanese yen, it formed an inside hourly candle the high and low is within the previous range here um, break below 1285.40 would be a bear break at the close of 7 p.m um, if it closes below that price and further confirmation of that bear break would be the low of, of losing 1283.10 and a uh, bull break would be obviously a close of 1286.70 and then we'll look for back tests of this uh, 4 and 80 MAs. Uh, one more thing i wanted to point out i think it's on the hourly chart here on GDXJ. Yeah, so GDXJ, you can see that we're rejecting here at this, um, since this high that we set uh, on Wednesday, we've been rejecting on this TCG bear cross where the 4 EMA cross under the 8 EMA. We've been rejecting the back test of this 8 EMA here on the hourly, you can see that. Um, currently do are, we currently are above it on, on in after hours and we're close to a bullish MACD here. So potentially look for us to first regain this um, this uh, ADMA here and then for a back test of the 20 MA. We really want to hourly TCG bull cross and regain the 20 MA for uh, for the junior minor bulls to come back in, step back in and, and continue, try to continue its run up with the with gold being so bullish right now. So have a good night and I'll see you guys tomorrow.